Hey, I'm Austin Coleman, and we're gonna take a look at my bike. Obviously, the biggest thing is the frame. It is a Miraco canvas, Dave Mira's signature bike. Um, I personally ride a 20.75. It's perfect for me because I ride park, dirt, vert, and that's perfect. Some guys ride the shorter bike, which is 20.5. For park, it's easier. And for dirt, usually the guy's like a slightly longer. I got really long legs and uh, I ride all those things. So 20 and three quarters is the perfect compromise. I also rock the eight inch bars with the uh, right side up stem. Gives you a little bit more height. Uh, especially on the vert ramp, you've got a bit more leverage to pump. Forks are the fit, uh, tapered forks. They're super light. Um, I actually think they might have been prototypes that um, scrounged up from somewhere, but uh, now everybody's rocking them, so that means they're real good. I have the uh, profile cranks. I run 175. That's a nice in-between size as well. Super short dudes, they'll rock a 170, and um, you know, real tall guys will do 180. 175 is nice in-between, compromise. And then I also have a 30 tooth sprocket. I run um, a 30-10 gear ratio. And um, I run the 30 tooth sprocket because I like the brakes on the chain stay. It gives it a little bit more room for the chain to clear the brakes. If your chain's a little bit loose at all, it starts to hit the brake, brake mounts. So I run a slightly bigger sprocket because I like the brakes down there. The ratio works out good because it's not too easy and it's not too hard. And that's basically the bigger your sprocket is, the, the harder it is to pedal. So uh, you can generate a lot of speed without maxing out, uh, going pretty fast towards the quarter pipe. Uh, I run um, 36 spokes in um, the front and the rear, and uh, those are regular spokes, not titanium, because um, I've seen a lot of titanium spokes blow out, just all of them all at once, and uh, that's, that's pretty scary. I don't want to be thinking about that while I'm on the ramp. So I try to keep it as light as possible. Uh, might put a couple titanium spokes in there, but definitely probably won't do the whole wheel. Uh, pedals, I have the Fly Rubin uh, Alicantara pedals. Uh, I've been running these since they came out. Um, don't quote me, I think they've been out maybe like five or six years and uh, haven't had a problem with them, so if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I also have the McNeil Pivotal Seat. Everybody's pretty much running those because they keep the weight down. Uh, probably got a good inch and a half on my seat post. Um, it goes up and down. It's not just a style thing, just sometimes it's easier to do tricks when it's low and sometimes it's easier to do tricks when it's a little higher. Right now it's about an inch and a half. Um, all the haters, you know, I don't know what the uh, standard is for seat post height right now, but uh, we'll say it's an inch and a half. For the brakes, it um, doesn't really matter what the uh, rotation system is, whether it's Snafu or the uh, Odyssey Gyro. Uh, right now I have the Snafu one on. Brakes do come off sometimes. Uh, I love riding verts with no brakes. Um, I might even possibly compete with it, but uh, park's a little bit more difficult for me. Uh, practice is crazy. You know, you gotta be on those brakes quick. You don't wanna run into people and I uh, haven't been doing it long enough really to feel comfortable competing, but during the off season, brakes definitely come off sometimes and uh, in the summertime I put them on just because uh, I value my life, it's crazy out there. And I of course have the completely loud and obnoxious front wheel. Um, you know, just kind of bring a little bit of rock and roll to my bike, um, you know. Things aren't complete unless you have a loud neon color on your bike or, or your clothes somewhere, so I, I choose to keep it on the front wheel and. Uh, you know, keeps things rockstar.